So hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also support my small business at latricelimited.com. Real quick, I just want to show you my website, latricelimited.com. Uh, this is the front page of it, and I have an array of different items. I have sales on occasion, uh, and yeah, I have nice little gift sets, gift packages, nice little soaps. This is me, and I have my Alex's favorites right here if you are to click on it. And these are just the things that I really love using, I use on a daily basis. Uh, so yeah, definitely support me, support the channel, and let's get into the video. So today we're actually going to be talking about an abortion uh, that happened in Texas and the repercussions of you doing what you want to do with your own body. Uh, this is something that really needs to change. This is something that is constantly holding women back. Um, we're going to get into it and then I'll get into explaining what I mean when I say that. Okay. So right here, uh, it says Texas woman, 26 charged with murder over self-induced abortion real quick. Yes. You heard that right. You get an abortion. You try to get an abortion in Texas because they got this weird thing where it's like, I believe it's, I believe it's like five weeks, if I'm not mistaken, where they're like, oh, well, yeah, you could get an abortion within five weeks. You know, Abbott, he said it and he was like, yeah, five weeks, that's enough time, right? Well, if you have your period once a month, it's about every four weeks, right? So you have a week. And if you're anything like me or any other female out here, your period is not always regular, okay? So your period may come on, you know, every four weeks, boom, 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 boom. But then you may have that one month where it's like, I'm going to be late about three days. I'm going to be late about five days. Heck, I may even be late by an entire week. So now you just are, you're now at your five week mark and now you can't get an abortion because maybe if you're like me, your period is on and off, on and off. It's not always on time. Maybe it comes a little early, maybe it comes a little later. Okay. So now you can't get an abortion. So if you try to get an abortion in Texas after that tiny little window that they give you, you can now be faced with murder, which is it's the craziest thing. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, go in get this uh, article read and I'm going to, I probably will be stopping throughout because this is really annoying. Uh, it's really annoying, it's very disappointing and all we're doing is just taking multiple steps back every single day. All right, it says a 26 year old woman has been charged with murder in Texas after authorities said that she caused the death of an individual by self-induced abortion. In the state that has the most restrictive abortion laws in the U.S., it was unclear whether uh, Lizelle Herrera, that's her name, uh, was accused of having an abortion or whether she helped someone get an abortion. Herrera was uh, arrested on Thursday and remained jailed on Saturday on a $500,000 bond in the Star County Jail in Rio Grande City on the U.S.-Mexico border. Herrera was arrested and served with an indictment on the charges of murder after Herrera did then and that intentionally and knowingly caused the death of an individual by self-induced abortion. Delgado did not say under which law Herrera had been charged. Uh, he said no other information would be released until at least Monday because the case remained under investigation. All right, it says Texas law exempts Herrera from a criminal a homicide charge for aborting her own pregnancy. Homicide doesn't apply to the murder of an unborn child if the conduct charge is conduct committed by the mother of the unborn child. And it says the 2021 state law that bans abortions in Texas for women who are as early as six weeks. So I had it wrong. It was six weeks, but still, that is still a short period of time. If you, like I said, are anything like me, where your period is not always every single month, let's say it's the third, let's say you had it the third of April and it doesn't come on third of May, okay? 
Maybe it comes on the 6th of May. Maybe it comes on the 12th of May. If not everything is 100%. Then you have to get appointments. Then you have to see if insurance covers it. And then, which it probably doesn't, you know, depending on what kind of insurance you have, then you have to now wait. And now, next thing you know, four weeks have already passed because you're waiting on your period to come. And then maybe you give an additional week grace period appointments. Now you already hit the six week mark and they say we can't do it. This is the problem that we have. Um, says as early as six week pregnant uh, has sharply uh, curtailed the number of abortions in the state. The law leaves enforcement to private citizens who can sue doctors or anyone who helps a woman get uh, an abortion. So what I ended up hearing was here, you would have many Texas women going out of state to get an abortion because they just simply can't do it here because maybe they're six weeks in a day, you know, or eight, seven weeks or eight weeks or whatever. And even the thought about abortion, you know, people may be like, I don't know, do I, I just have to think on this. Do I want to get an abortion right now? Yes or no. Oh, let me think on this. And they finally think on it and maybe it takes them a week and they're like, you know what? I want it. Now the time has already passed. It's already come and go. And now you can't get it. You know, so this is the problem. And people are having to go out to different states to try to get this on states that, you know, allow that to happen. You have doctors who they could be sued or even arrested. Oh, you're, you're doing that. What is up with these men? And it's mostly men, you know, a lot of the old white guys that are in the politics and whatnot. What's up with you guys wanting to constantly control women, our bodies, and everything that it is that we do? That's what I don't get. Woman gets raped, or if it's consensual. Oh, well, I mean, just simple as this. Woman gets raped. You know, they come forward here, you know, they do a rape kit, which is very invasive, as I heard. Um, and then you're just like, okay, yeah, we'll let you know. I remember reading a story a, a little while back where in police evidence, there's a whole bunch of uh, rape kits that have not been tested because they don't have the manpower or whatever they want to say. They don't have enough people there. So there's been thousands upon thousands of rape kits that never have even, they've never been tested. So nothing happens. That's okay though. Okay. So a woman wants to get an abortion. Oh, you can't do that. We're, no, no, no. I'm a man, I'm telling you, you can't get an abortion. I'm a man, I'm telling you that, I know you got raped, but that's just gonna have to wait. Excuse my language. Really? Okay. You have women who want to get their tubes tied. Whether they just went to the gynecologist and they're like, well, yeah, I wanna get my tubes tied. And I've heard many stories about this. I wanna get my tubes tied. Uh, kids ain't for me, <laughs> you know? I really don't want kids. I don't wanna have to even deal with that. Oh, um, yeah, we're not going to do that for you. Well, what do you mean you're not going to do that for me? Why would you not give me, why would you not allow me to get my tubes tied? This is what I want. Yeah, but you may want kids in the future. Uh, I told you I don't want kids in the future. Yeah, but we're not going to do it for you. A doctor's telling, a doctor is refusing to treat you. That's what that is. You know, because of this patriarchal thing that we have going on. Where it's like, man is always right. Women, y'all guys, y'all sup, y'all are uh, secondary. If I don't agree with whatever I want you to do with your body, it's not happening, right? Okay. You can even have a woman who had a kid, one kid. Yeah, I think this is going to be my last kid. Um, would you mind, um, you know, tying it up? I want my tube tied. Oh, but what if you want another kid in the future? Nah, I think this is going to be my own kid. This is only what I want. Oh, well, we're not going to do it for you. So my point is this. No matter what it is that a woman wants, can we just have our own bathrooms to ourselves with pe women, females with vaginas? Can we all just have our own bathroom to ourselves, our own safe spot where if I have to change my tampon, I don't have to worry about a guy coming in, you know, pissing around or whatever they're doing. No, because we want men to be in the women's restrooms as well. We need to have that to be all gender thing. But I don't feel comfortable having a man in the bathroom with me 
in the bathroom with my niece, in the bathroom with my cousin. Just me being in the bathroom. I want men to be in their own bathroom and women to be in their own bathroom. Yeah, we're not doing that because the man said that, you know, you guys don't need privacy. And this is the problem. It's one thing after the next. We can't get abortions. We can't get our tubes tied. You know, you get raped. It's like, oh, well, we'll handle it whenever we feel like handling it, if we ever do. You know, and this is the problem that we are having. Women's rights are severely, severely uh, in danger. I mean, very much so. And as this lady who's holding this, it said in America, in America, women's bodies are under attack. And this is 100% true. We can't do anything without you guys saying something. Something happens to a woman. Oh, what was she wearing? So we're not going to blame the guys who actually committed the crime, who roofied her, who, you know, raped her. They're completely out of the blame because she was wearing leggings. I've seen other women in other cultures who would get raped and they would wear the whole nine yards, top to bottom. They're completely clothed in, um, in very loose clothing, nothing form fitting, and they got raped too. So it's not about what you wear and so many people will you know say that this isn't right and those kind of people i don't want to have anything to do with because you are condoning this kind of behavior okay has nothing to do with that it has everything to do with you thinking you own a woman you think that you uh have control over a woman that you can dominate a woman that is the problem that we are having and we have laws that are saying yeah we can dominate you. Yeah, you guys don't really matter at all. All you guys are baby makers and that's about it. That's the problem, you know? So now you're having a self-induced abortion and it's like, yeah, you, it's a murder charge. Are you kidding me? Take the kid out right now. Take the kid out right now. Kid is six weeks old. Let me know if they can speak, if they can breathe on their own, anything. Can they do anything? Can they grow grow outside of the outside of the woman yes or no do they have anything no they can't do a dang thing so you're gonna say that's murder now if you were saying that this happened at eight months or seven or even seven and a half months seven months that's a little different but six weeks seven weeks come on y'all you know, something really has to change. It needs to be uh, a series of different legislations, laws. People need to stop thinking that they're so dang important. These men need to get out of these women's situations. You know, if you're not here to support, really, you don't need to be here at all. That's just how it is. Because you shouldn't have a say-so on whether or not a woman should or can get an abortion. You're not having the baby, so it's none of your business. At the end of the day if she wants to do that then let her do that if she wants to get her tubes tied you as a doctor or whoever else should not say well i don't think i don't care what you think that's not why i'm here can you do it yes or no well i can't okay if you can do it do it and if you can't show me somebody that can because obviously you are very incompetent that's how we need to start being as women as females, we really need to start just, you know, be more proactive, be more aggressive with it. Because this is just, I, I, I mean, next thing you know, they would say, well, women, you guys, all you guys do is make baby. You guys shouldn't even vote anymore. Because you know how long it took for uh, women to be able to vote, you know? So it's just one thing after the next. And this is just another thing to add on top of it. And this is the problem. Um, but those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions on it. I would love to hear yours down in the comments down below. And until then.